Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my trophy log series. This is the series where we keep track of our most prized possessions. In the last episode we finally managed to snag the prestigious trophy eyed from Mosquito. This time we are after a creature rather than a fish. But before we start the episode, this is the fun spot segment of the video where I try your fishing spots. Today's fun spot is a rough spot on Winding by Hayden. First, the spot was very active, from here you can expect a wide range of different species I managed to catch from here rough, perch, common roach, white eye bream, Donetsk rough, bream, and nace. Probably the biggest surprises for me were the big perch that was almost the trophy size. Just imagine getting a trophy while going for a fun spot. That would be amazing. I was quite surprised also by the Donetsk rough because it was my second ever biggest Donetsk rough. Overall, a very fun spot. We made 81 silver here in just one night, which is amazing. Thank you for the spot. Let's spin the wheel. Let's see, do we have to go for Crucian or the frog trophy first? And it seems like we are going for the frog. This is going to be fun. For the bait, you really want to use only one kind of bait, which is a fly. Just buy flies from a tackle store and this will be your bait to catch a trophy frog. Since there is only 300 pieces here in the stock, I will buy these. Maybe we'll go through all of them. So the first spot that I decided to try was at 89.88. I used tap 17, hook size 19 and for the bait, as I said before, just a regular fly. Just to let you know, this was a test run before I I actually went for the trophy you can see by my level it's before the eye trophy just to let you know frogs are going absolutely crazy when they bite it feels like your rod is going to be yanked out of the water but the first frog i managed to get was 55 grams so not too bad it was a market frog then i got this behemoth of a frog which wasn't too far from a trophy it was 118 grams and then rest of my trip looked like this snag after snag after snag so i lost a lot of hooks in just one day of frog fishing now in the next clip you will see when I actually went for the trophy frog what happened. And we have our first frog on. Uh, no. And this is trophy. Actually, I just caught the eye trophy like five minutes ago and now we get the frog trophy already. I was waiting for a huge crime because I've heard some people go super dry here. But I'm not complaining. I got the frog trophy in like 30 seconds. Hey, if you need the frog trophy, come to this spot. Yeah, as you can see, I only have one crucial in my inventory and that I caught from another spot. So let's check the trophies. I caught the frog, so I I guess I only have the Crucian left, so let's go and try to get the Crucian trophy to actually complete Mosquito Log. I'm so excited. We are actually going to complete Mosquito Log after we have the Crucian, and the Crucian should be a fairly easy trophy to get. Let's make some Crucian and Gibble ground bait. For the ground bait, we just need crown crackers, millet porridge, and sunflower oil. So it's very simple. So the spot where I'm going to is on the opposite bank where I caught the eye trophy. So we're going to 5375. At this point, we will use clip size 15, hook size 1, and for the bait, oatmeal porridge. And do not forget your crucian slash gibble ground bait. So let's see. Is the first fish gibble or crucian? Or maybe none? Okay, this actually looks like a gibble carp and a pretty decent one. Right now I'm aiming towards the boats on the other side, but maybe later on I will try to aim more towards the left. But yeah, 500 gram gibble, that's an amazing start. And we have another very decent fish on. And this is actually the target species we're going for. We just need the same one, but maybe four times bigger. Yeah, actually more than four times bigger. More like six times bigger. I have a nice crucian on and I have a bite on the other rod. I changed the spot where I'm throwing at. I'm throwing them more to the left side now. And I'm just getting crucian after crucian. The bite rate is pretty damn amazing to be fair. Let's see, what do we have on this one? It's another crucian and this one looks pretty darn big as well. I would say this is almost a kilo, maybe even over a kilo. Oh, almost a kilo, just a few grams off. But yeah, we already have something on the third rod as well. The bite rate, as I said, is absolutely amazing. It is raining, it is windy, but the fish are biting. Kind of reminds me of real life. If the weather is bad, the fish are biting, and usually the big fish. And another crucian. Yes, exactly what we're looking for. And um, yeah, it got away. How? But it doesn't matter. Let's recast and get the trophy. Imagine if we get the trophy on the first day as well. That would be ridiculous. I will make some more oatmeal porridge because I have a pretty low stock of it. And uh, I think we will need quite a lot of it. I won't make like a thousand of these. Even though I should for the collection. But still, I'll make a few hundred. And we have another fish on. It's target species once again, which is very, very nice. And it's a half a kilo crucian. Did you guys know if you have crucian and gibble carp in the pond in real life? If you have gibble carp in there, in some years, all the crucian carp will be gone and there will be only gibble carp left. I had no clue. I just learned it a few weeks ago. 
pretty interesting. And now we have a huge Gibble Carbon. Oh, almost a kilo. That's a nice fish. And the third rod is going on again. This seems like something fairly big and decent. I remember in those beginning episodes when I was going for the Gibble Trophy. And oh, that's a big crucian. My reels were a bit weaker, so it was so much harder to reel these guys in. 1.6 kilos almost. 1.8 is a trophy. And the spool fest has started. I'd like to see that. Actually, no. It kind of gave up. No. It's giving some resistance. I mean, it's going pretty fast, so I am 100% positive it's not the gibble recruition. Most likely a tiny carp, but we will see in a second once I get this fish in. I also wanted to say, in real life, I've actually got... A 1.1 or 1.2 kilo crucian. I actually have it on video as well on my real life fishing channel. I got it from a lake when I was tench fishing and it was such a surprise catch. And yeah, it's a tiny carp. Let's see how big it is. Almost 3 kilos. Not too bad actually. Tea and bread time. I think my guy can't wait to get the glass of vodka once he catches this crucian carp. It's giving him some extra motivation. Oh, that's a nice bite on the second rod. Ooh, that's some resistance. And that's another fairly big fish. Not a trophy, but that's a huge fish for a crucian. Let's see. 1.17 kilos. And another nice fish is on. I really love this gibble and crucian fishing. It is so relaxed and chill. I just enjoy it. Like every single second of it, to be fair. And it's another decent fish. 1.6 kilos. Wow, that is not too far away from trophy once again. These gibbles and crucians, they might seem like they're not worth that much, but actually, if the bite rate is good, they add up very quickly and you can make a lot of money here. This spot, guys, come here, 100% is very good. The bite rate is good, the average size of the fish is good. Oh, that's a not a big fish. 1 kilo crucian, nice. But since I get so many big fish, it's a good indicator that this is a possibly trophy spot but you know if this uh, video lasts for i don't know 30 minutes like the last time then it possibly wasn't and i switched spots but if it's a shorter one then it was definitely a trophy spot 600 grams and we have a hunky fish on it's coming in fairly easily but to be fair i don't really know if it's gonna be a trophy or just a big fish by the indicator down below because they are not giving me good of a fight enough with these reels and rods. But this is not a trophy, but it's still a very big crucian. Just 100 grams of the trophy. What is that? Who are you? Who's the little fella? Who let the little fellas out, huh? Not even 200 grams. That was almost a bait fish. Okay, but this is definitely not a bait fish. Yeah, this is not a bait fish. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow. It's actually putting some pressure on the reel. None of the fish have done that except the carp. So if this is a cru... No, it's not. It's an eyed. Okay, this is something I did not expect to get on this oatmeal porridge. But a kilo eyed. That's good cash. Just a throwback to the last episode, really. This seems like another tiny fish. That's odd. Because of the time of the day, it should be bigger fish now. But yeah, super odd. Well, this was at least over 200 grams. And we have something very big on... This could possibly be a trophy, but even if it is, we don't know if it's a gibble or crucian yet, but it is very slow. Okay, it looks like a gibble. Wait, is that a trophy? Oh, no, it's not. It's not wide enough. I remember those trophies. They look like huge, huge balls. That sounded wrong, <laughs> but you know what I mean. But this is close to trophy. I, I can feel it. Yeah, 12 grams off the trophy. 1.9 kilos is a trophy. I was so close. Well, let's keep trying. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon about the fish being tiny because this is another decent fish. Hey, 600 grams. Oh, okay. The reel is making some sounds. So that is a good indicator here. So far, all of the fish that have been close to the trophy size or just big, they give some sort of an indicator on the reel. There's like a sound at least. But that is another very big gibble carp. I'm actually quite worried because I don't want a gibble trophy but 1.5 kilos almost. That is a huge one. Okay, big fish alert, guys. Okay, this one is breaking my reel slowly. If it doesn't start zooming off, it could be a gibble or crucian. Yeah, it's it's either a bream or those two options. Let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm very scared right now. Okay, it's white. So I guess it's a gibble. Oh, no. It's a gibble trophy. I just said it like five seconds ago. Hey, I just don't want the gibble trophy. I want the crucian trophy. But that is a trophy. 100%. That's a gibble trophy. 2.5 kilos? You gotta be kidding me. 1.9 is a trophy. I went almost 600 grams over the trophy. That is a huge gibble carp. I mean, I say yes to all trophies, but I really, really hope I will get a crucian soon. And that is another nice gibble. 
I can just see dollar signs in the water right now on the hook. Money is good. Wait, what? No. So we have caught 40 trophy fish in total. That's pretty neat. And that gibble carp was my biggest gibble. That's good to see. And it is another gibble. Come on. Where are the crucians? I'm looking for the crucians. Okay, like, mosquito, redeem yourself. Show me a crucian. It's a gibble. Am I being trolled? Because at the beginning, I caught crucians one after another, and now it's been just gibble carp after gibble carp. But I mean, good money, but still. Where are the crucians? I might switch the bait, actually. Maybe to semolina? Because I think semolina works pretty well with crucians. And same with sweet dough. And also with wet bread. But I also work with gibble, so... It's kind of a mixed thing to do, to switch the bait. But another 600 gram gibble. Not too bad. Time to sell all of the fish. We have a crucian cafe order for 8 silver, gibble order for 4 silver, and the rest of the keep net is worth 91 silver. So in total, we made 103 silver, which is not bad at all. The frog trophy is super cheap, but at least the gibble trophy makes up for it. Okay, let's go. Day 2 of the grind. And this is something very tiny on the hook. It is a small crucian. I'm happy about it because this is the target species. Even though it was very tiny. Let's see. What is this? Gibble or Crucian? That is the question. And that is a Crucian. Okay, I'm starting to see a trend here, to be fair. But this fish is almost 700 grams. Not too bad. Oh, we have something big on. But I wanted to talk about something that I've noticed here. It's the fact that during the morning time and daytime, it seems like Crucians are biting. And during the night time, the Gibble Carp are biting. So, wait, what is that? No. Is that a trophy crucian? No, no, it is. It is a trophy crucian. Okay, this is a big moment for the channel. We have just completed mosquito log once I reeled this fish in. Absolutely crushed mosquito log then. Oh, look at this crucian. This crucian is the most important crucian anyone has ever had, I think. This is the end of an era. We are never returning to mosquito. 1.9 kilo crucian and this was the last fish that we needed to close off the whole mosquito log look at this fish it is absolutely white as heck lovely and i think we also have an award for completing the whole mosquito log so let's see that one yeah honorary fisherman for mosquito log yeah we like to see that we gotta collect all of these medallions this is the goal this is the end goal of the account but one is done so now we have to go and complete the others just look at this log every single slot is filled in we have pictures of fish in every single one of them and the trophy i am extremely happy this is such a cool thing to do to finish off a whole collection log i have no worries to be fair and thank you all of you guys who have been actually motivating me to keep making these videos i appreciate all of you okay let's sell all of the fish i only managed to get five fish in total so we can sell it all for 15 silver not too bad we almost have 4,000 silver now and as i promised this guy will get a glass of vodka let's spend some money on this so yeah i promised him so he has to get it he will enjoy it while looking over mosquito one last time it is actually quite sad to leave mosquito this was our last time fishing here let's take the last glimpse over this lake and go on to another adventure hope you guys enjoyed this episode take care bye bye